Welcome to the 2020 Australian Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns National Awards live stream. I'm Val Southam, CEO of Keep Australia Beautiful. As we all gather today in our respective states and territories on different ground, I would like to take a minute to acknowledge the traditional owners of all these lands and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. We'll begin this afternoon's proceedings with a special welcome by Nora Hayes Wheeler from the Township of Ginger Porter, otherwise known as Santa Teresa. They were the 2019 overall winner who would have welcomed us in person had we been able to have this face-to-face -face event. Hello, my name is Nora Hayes Wheeler. I'm a traditional owner of uh, Ginger Porter, uh, Santa Teresa community. And um, we are grateful that we were successful in winning the, uh, all the awards in Tasmania. And um, on behalf of all the community that was involved, everybody, I thank them all very much. And we are proud to be um, nominated as the uh, tidiest town in Australia. Thank you. <laughs> and um, at the same instance, I, um, I wish to welcome you all wherever you are in Australia. We are grateful uh, that uh, you are watching us and I wish you all the best um, for whenever it's going to be the Tidy Down Awards again. And because of this virus, we feel isolated, but at the same time, thank you very much. And uh, also, um, we, I'd like to welcome you all, if you can come and visit us here in the middle of Australia, Little Border, you're most welcome. And we thank you, everybody. And uh, hopefully, with this virus, um, not continuing. I wish it will stop, but <laughs> you're welcome to come. Thank you. And thanks, Nora. And again, we are very disappointed that we were unable to travel to your amazing town to see what great things you have done. This year has certainly delivered some unique challenges and we appreciate your patience leading up to today after the event was first postponed and then finally switched to this online event. 2020, marks a special milestone for these awards for Keep Australia Beautiful. For 30 years now, the Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns Awards have celebrated achievements by councils and community groups across Australia in all fields of environmental sustainability, including litter prevention, community spirit, and health and wellbeing. Congratulations to our seven state finalists, Beechworth, Victoria, Bunbury, Western Australia, Gympie, Queensland, Mount Gambia, South Australia, Mararundi, New South Wales, Nullanboy, Northern Territory, and Wilmot, Tasmania. They are all representing their state today and they are all already winners. I would like to acknowledge the efforts of the team at McDonnell Regional Council. They have worked tirelessly with our team to organise what would have been an incredible Outback event. And I know that many of you like us were very disappointed that we weren't able to be there in person. Thank you also to our national judge, Gail Langley, who has again volunteered so many days of her time traveling the country far and wide to visit each finalist town. And I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Cooper's Brewery and Tellus Holdings for their support of the awards program. And I would now like to introduce the Ginger Porter Catholic School Choir who are going to perform for us respect caring and strong.
Thank you so much to the choir. That was just beautiful. Such lovely voices and such happy smiling faces. It was just such a pleasure to watch. Thank you again. And now we have a brief welcome from Her Honour, the Honourable Vicky O'Halloran AO, Administrator of the Northern Territory. Her Honour has planned to be with us in Alice Springs, but as you know, it was not to be. Hello everyone. It is my privilege to welcome you all virtually to the Northern Territory this afternoon. I record this message today at Government House, Darwin, and I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and waters surrounding me, the Larrakia people. I pay my respects to Larrakia elders past, present and emerging. It is unfortunate that I am unable to welcome you in person this year, but how wonderful that technology allows us to press on and continue to give people the recognition and celebration that they deserve. The Northern Territory town of Santa Teresa has been proud to hold the Australian Tidy Towns title for the last 12 months and the Territory Tidy Towns title in 2018. I pay my respects to the past, present and emerging Eastern Arunta elders, the traditional owners of the land of Santa Teresa. The Sustainable Community Tidy Towns Awards are a wonderful initiative to encourage, motivate and celebrate the sustainability achievements of rural and regional communities across Australia. The Tidy Towns Awards are not about the most picture perfect town, but about the projects, initiatives and efforts of community members that are making a difference. Recognition for this hard work can positively impact many aspects of a life in small towns through community participation and community engagement. I wish all the 2020 finalists of the Tiny Towns Awards good luck. Well done to this year's Northern Territory finalist, which is the town of Nullumboy. The residents of Nullumboy have placed a strong emphasis on amenity, safety and good physical and mental health in their beautiful coastal township to become a finalist this year. I hope that the work of these towns will help encourage you all to plan a trip to our spectacular Northern Territory when you do have an opportunity. There is so much to see and do here and on behalf of Territorians, we would love to welcome you all here to our beautiful home. Thank you, Your Honour. And now we'll have a few words from Jeff McLeod, CEO of McDonnell Regional Council, to tell us a bit about their experience winning the award last year. Hello, my name is Jeff McLeod. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the McDonald Regional Council. And I welcome you tonight to the KAB Sustainable Communities and Tidy Towns Award. Over the last two years, Santa Teresa has had the great honour of being the national champion. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we haven't been able to welcome you all to Central Australia 
to show you the beauty, the ancient history, and more importantly, the wonderful work which have been done by the people at Santa Teresa. They have a long, long, long history in connection with the, the earth and the land, and they take great pride in their country. From a council perspective, I would just like to say that we are deeply honoured to, to have received the award, and I would like to congratulate all this year's finalists. Regardless of the result today, all of you are winners. You're winners because you're making a difference in your communities. You're improving people's lives, you're saving heritage, you're protecting the environment. And as such, the result today doesn't really matter. But I do pass on my congratulations to whoever is the winner today. You no doubt have uh, deserved this award. And I look forward to welcoming all of you to Central Australia when this COVID-19 uh, situation is over. We would love to see you come to Central Australia to see how beautiful it is, to take in the opportunity to visit at Santa Teresa. So from us to everyone, to the Keep Australia Beautiful group, we thank you for the honour that Santa Teresa had bestowed on it and we wish everyone the very best of luck in today's competition. Thank you. Before we get into announcing the winners, I have some quick items of housekeeping for award recipients. Firstly, media releases will be distributed at the conclusion of the event with copies available on the awards website sustainablecommunities.com.au. Whilst we won't have official event photographs this year, the Honourable Trevor Evans, Assistant Minister for Waste Reduction and Environmental Management, has kindly posed for some photos for each award certificate that you can share on social media and with your local media outlets. These will be available also on the website at the conclusion of the event. I encourage you all to share your achievements on social media Tag us at K-A-B-N-A-H-Q and use the hashtag Tidy Towns. We expect to see plenty of selfies coming through our feed and if you'd like to share your photos for inclusion on the website photo gallery, please email them to awards at kab.org.au. I would now like to hand over to David Carter, Chair of Keep Australia Beautiful, who will announce the category winners. Thank you, David. Hello to everyone online and a warm welcome to our Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns Awards. We're proud to be able to publicly recognise all of the tremendous effort carried out by our communities across Australia and in their leadership in keeping Australia beautiful. It is the inspiration, it is this inspiration that is the core of value of our organisation. Thank you for your ongoing participation. It's a pleasure and an honour to work with you all. I'd now like to introduce the Honourable Trevor Evans, MP and Assistant Minister for Waste Reduction and Environmental Management to the Australian Government for his words of support. Hi everyone, I'm Trevor Evans, the Federal Assistant Minister for Waste Reduction and Environmental Management. Well, 2020 has been a particularly challenging year for everyone around Australia, but in particular, the challenges faced by regional communities has been enormous. And that's why these awards are a great opportunity for us to showcase some of the great work that's being done in regional communities right around Australia, even in these challenging times. Today's finalists are the culmination of the awards being held across seven states and territories. And in particular, today's finalists have been shortlisted from over 1,000 individual entries from right across Australia. So can I acknowledge the hard work, the efforts, the programs behind each of tonight's finalists. Congratulations to everyone for all their fantastic achievements so far and best wishes to all the finalists. 
Thank you, Minister Evans. We start the awards presentation with the Dame Phyllis Frost Litter Prevention Award. This award recognises innovation and achievements in litter prevention or reduction through education affecting litter management or behaviour change. It is for the projects or programmes that reduce or prevent litter and could involve behaviour change techniques, creation of partnerships or networks, or the development of effective infrastructure and place design. It's my pleasure to announce the winner of the Dame Phyllis Frost Litter Prevention Award and this year it goes to Beechworth in Victoria. Beechworth's first Student Environment Day attracted almost 200 students from the Indigo Shire and garnered support of many passionate local supporters and groups. Participating students learned about closing the loop, the impact of consumerism, upcycling, biodiversity and habits, sustainability, renewable energy, water and land management, and indigenous culture. The students were also able to practice being waste wise by having a rubbish free and water wise lunch. Congratulations to Beechworth. Degrees <laughs> Resource Recovery and Waste Management. This award recognises innovation and achievements in recycling or waste reduction, including initiatives that conserve resources or recover and reuse materials. The winner of the Resource Recovery and Waste Management Award is Mount Gambia in South Australia. Mount Gambia has established a number of inspiring enterprises that enable the town to recycle effectively and reduce waste including the popular annual recycled runway event which sees fashion designers transform outdated clothing items into new stylish outfits and the Mount Gambia reuse market has reduced waste going to landfill by more than 100 tonnes since its opening in 2018. To further its waste reduction efforts, Mount Gambia installed a polystyrene recycling machine at its waste transfer station and to build awareness, council staff conducts tours of waste facilities and delivers education programs for schools and community groups. The council is also supporting Mount Gambia residents in divert diverting food waste by distributing almost 7,000 kitchen caddies as well as offering discounts on home composting equipment and initiating a food business organics trial. Congratulations to Mount Gambia. Congratulations, Mount Gambia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, everyone, um, for their input and to Aaron um, for leading the way. Fantastic. Well done. Yeah. Oh, well done to everyone. Yes, mm -hmm. it, that was really a team effort of all the different programs in Mount Gambia. So I think it's all added up to show that there's a lot happening, particularly in that. The next award category is Heritage and Culture. The Heritage and Culture Award recognises outstanding commitments to the conservation and celebration of a community's Indigenous and non-Indigenous heritage and culture. The winner of the Heritage and Culture Award is Nullumboy, Northern Territory. Nullumboy displays a strong focus on preserving, sharing and educating people about their rich culture and history through art, nature, reconnection with land, language and culture, as well as the protection of historically significant artefacts. Murals depict the heritage of the Yongu and Makassans people, as well as the town's military history, mining and European settlement in the area. Walking trails showcase the town's unique natural features and sites of historical significance, acknowledging and respecting the Yongu culture. The Arnhem Land Historical Society collects, restores and displays historical artefacts, memorabilia and documents that record and provide evidence of the role Arnhem Land and Gove played in history. And the Dimaru Aboriginal Corporation developed, delivers programs to prepare the next generation of Yongu landowners to care for their estates. Congratulations, Nullumboy. Congratulations, Nullumboy. We can see you. <laughs> we, can see you. Uh, we all knew this was going to be different. We all knew it. <laughs> Our fourth category is the Young Legends Award. This category is split into individual and group awards. 
The Young Legends Awards recognise achievements by individuals and groups of under 25s who have demonstrated significant commitment to the environment and or have made significant contributions to any of the award, other award categories. The winner of the Young Legends Individual Award is Bella Bergmeister from Bunbury in Western Australia. The plight of homeless in Bunbury posed a significant concern for Bella who felt they should be at least have the ability to store their belongings safely. Together with the Bunbury Youth Advisory Council, Bella raised $3,000 for lockers with the council, adding a further $30,000 to the endeavour. These funds allowed 24 lockers to be installed across three sites. Congratulations, Bella. Congratulations, Bella. Well, yeah. Bella isn't here, but she's a remarkable young lady. She also chairs the uh, City of Bunbury Youth Advisory Council and they had a fantastic uh, festival on the weekend attracting thousands of people. So she's a really very uh, community-minded young lady. We're very proud of her. So thank you very much on behalf of Bella. And the winner of the Young Legends Group Award is the Nolanboy Youth Council. Nolanboy Youth Council was formed in 2019 with the purpose to engage young people in the Nolan Boys town board's decision-making processes and increase the town board's understanding of young people's perspectives and needs. To date, members of the Youth Council have been greatly involved with traditional community events, as well as planning and facilitating very successful new events. The Youth Council also supports various sporting club activities, Nill and Boys Cans and Bottle Recycling Exchange for Funds program, and educational programs ranging from robotics to youth suicide. The Nolan Boy Youth Council demonstrates positive leadership, mentoring the young environmental and cultural champions in their local schools. Congratulations to the mem members of the Nolan Boy Youth Council. Congratulations, Nolan Boy Youth Council. On behalf of the Nolan Boy Youth Council, we'd like to say thank you very much. That's so special. Thank you so much. You deserve it. Well done. <laughs> the next award category is the Environmental Sustainability Energy Award. This award recognises leadership and innovation in energy conservation and management in the face of a changing environment. The winner of the Environment Sustainability Energy Award is Beechworth in Victoria. Totally Renewable Beechworth is a community initiative with the goal for Beechworth and their postcode area to be powered by 100% renewable energy by 2030. The program has organized and partnered in community events and networks, has led community conversations, raised awareness and delivered actions to achieve this goal. A significant focus on Beechworth's efforts is to decarbonize the energy used and secure reliable supply, providing options for owner occupiers, tenants and low-income households to participate and benefit from renewable energy. The, total renewable energy. the Totally Renewable Beechworth Initiative has demonstrated passion and drive working as a whole community to proactively strive to meet their goal. By fostering partnerships and by working together, the town benefited as a whole. Congratulations, Beechworth. Congratulations, Beechworth. <laughs> the next category is Environmental Sustainability Water. The Environmental and Sustainability Water Award recognises leadership and innovation in water, conservation and management for the future. The winner of the Environmental Sustainability Water Award is Murrundi, New South Wales. During the recently prolonged drought, Murundi was put on level six water restrictions that lasted more than 18 months. The Murundi Public School, with support from local organizations and groups, development, developed and implemented several impressive projects. One particular project was the installation of water harvesting solar panels, providing students with drinking water and the ability to refill their bottles at school. This is a significant environmental cost saving to the school, which was previously buying water for students and staff to drink. Congratulations, Morundi. Congratulations, Morundi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Next is the Environmental Sustainability Natural Environment Management Award. This award recognizes the protection, conservation, and enhancement of the natural environment. And the winner of the Environmental Sustainability Natural Environment Management Award is Gympie in Queensland. The Gympie region is in the enviable position of having several viable koala populations within its boundaries. And with claims that over 25% of koala habitat has been lost in Queensland as a result of this season's fires, Gympie's koala habitat protection program is now of great importance. Council adopted a koala conservation and management plan to guide organisational and community action to ensure the long-term sustainability of koala populations in the Gympie region. The program has been responsible for installing wildlife friendly fencing that protects important natural areas while allowing fauna to move freely, undertaking surveys to verify koala populations and using koala habitat mapping to create koala habitat values overlay to ensure ecosystems supporting both koalas and other threatened species are protected. Congratulations Gimpy. The second last category is the Environmental Communication and Engagement. Environmental Communication Engagement Award recognises outstanding achievements in raising awareness in environmental sustainability leading to empowerment and behaviour change amongst the target audience. <clears throat> the winner of the Environmental Communication and Engagement Award is Beechworth in Victoria. The Beechworth Festival of Change was a community-driven, not-for-profit event designed to empower regional communities to take responsibility for their own future and drive positive change towards a fair, just and sustainable world. The festival had two key objectives, build change-making skills and build networks of change-makers. The festival's philosophy centred on the ideal of giving, where new ideas could be taken back to communities to make a meaningful difference. Under several themes, 36 events were on offer, held 10 venues throughout Beechworth to spread the economic benefit to local business and embed the festival in the town. Congratulations, Beechworth. Congratulations, Beechworth. Thank you. <laughs> final category is community health and well-being and interest. This award recognises initiatives for the health and well-being of a community to build a strong, healthy, vibrant, accessible community. And this year there are joint winners for the Community Health, Well-Being and Interest Awards and the first joint winner is Wilmot in Tasmania. The community of Wilmot is made up of a group of people who demonstrate an enormous respect for their unique environment, their ancestry, and for the well-being of those in their community. Promoting a healthy lifestyle and caring for others is the core of what drives the Wilmot community. The people of Wilmot have taken a serious approach to the needs of those in their midst and have created a strong, vibrant, extremely livable community. Most recent initiatives see committees and groups formed covering an extensive variety of interests, activities and sports, homegrown and home-cooked food, and produce plays an important role for residents of Wilmot and is generously shared amongst the community. Congratulations, Wilmot. The second joint winner for the Community Health and Wellbeing Interest Award is Bunbury in Western Australia. The City of Bunbury's community culture and engagement team is all about the people and their wellbeing. The team worked in conjunction with the Kumbana Foreshore Redevelopment to deliver a key project the beach, well, wheelchair access and foreshore disability installation, which focuses on best practice with respect to disability access. The project resulted in several innovative features, including a graded concrete ramp and beach matting, two all terrain beach wheelchairs available from the kiosk, a disability friendly change room and a wheelchair friendly barbecue and tables along the foreshore. Congratulations, Bunbury. Thanks very much, everybody, and uh, congratulations to all the other category winners around Australia. It's a wonderful uh, achievement to all of you. Obviously, we're very proud of this uh, recognition. The uh, city staff have done a brilliant job 
over many years to get us to where we are today. And there's much more we can do into the future. So thank you again and well done to everybody. That is the last of the category awards presentations and congratulations to all of the category winners. Your communities are the better for your tireless work and we are all indebted to your service. Before we find out the overall winner for 2020, National Judge Gail Langley will say a few words about our judging tour and this year's finalists. The 2020 Keep Australia Beautiful National Award results are already cemented in the pre-COVID-19 pandemic era. Judging of each state and territory winning town and city was completed the evening before COVID-19 lockdown commenced. The strength communities exhibit indicates their ability to move forward in a positive way to address and adopt necessary changes forced upon them. The towns and cities who take on the challenge of entering the Keep Australia Beautiful State and Territory Awards program demonstrate their readiness to be judged. Those winning communities who are fortunate to enter the National Awards program have become positive examples of sustainability who are able to embrace change and demonstrate empowerment empowerment in what is becoming an unexpected changing world. The level of diversity and the unique and individual categories entered this year was exemplary and reflected the drivers of these community projects together with the quality of the teams working together to achieve their targets and outcomes. The power of community volunteers <clears throat> who generously donate their, donate their knowledge, experience, energy and time to those around them and for the advancement of their towns are to be congratulated. Mayors, councils and their collaborative networks deserve special recognition for their role in entering and succeeding at the National Awards Program for Keep Australia Beautiful. I would like to offer my gratitude to each of the communities I visited during this year's judging program. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. The overall sustainability community Tidy Towns Award winner for 2020 will be announced by His Excellency General and the Honourable David Hurley, AC, DSC, Governor General of Australia, and Her Excellency, Mrs. Linda Hurley. Hello from Government House Canberra. Linda and I are delighted to be with you for the 2020 Australian Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns Awards. Congratulations to all the finalists. We had hoped to join you in Alice Springs for the awards this year. I am passionate about recycling and sustainability and was really looking forward to visiting Santa Teresa, last year's winner, to see the amazing work they are doing. We congratulate the Keep Australia Beautiful Association for its leadership in putting the health and safety of remote communities and attendees first and opting for this virtual ceremony. The annual Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns Awards is a really important initiative. The awards recognise achievement in environmental endeavour. They encourage people in our communities and towns to undertake projects that say, we care about our community, we care about the future of our country. A tidy, litter-free, environmentally friendly town says a lot about the people who live in it. Wonderful people. This awards ceremony not only recognises excellence in keeping Australia beautiful, but also brings like-minded people and communities together. Our nation's response to the pandemic, and before that the bushfires and other natural disasters, has highlighted how important it is to stay in touch. It's critical to our health and safety and well-being. It's time to announce the winner of the Australian Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns Awards for 2020. Congratulations to all the category winners. You're all winners in our eyes. Of course, there can only be one winner of this magnificent trophy. The Australian Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns Awards. This trophy was crafted by the men's shed at Santa Teresa. The base is made from mulga, a type of acacia, and the kulaman, or utni in the Arante language, is made from mali, from the eucalyptus family, and is used to carry and protect both food and babies. The artists wanted to create a connection to Keep Australia Beautiful campaign to encourage all Australians to care for and to protect our families and our country. Well done to all at the Men's Shed. It's a beautiful and fitting trophy. Now, Linda, how about you do the honours? 
the winner of the 2020 Keep Australia Beautiful, Sustainable Communities, Tidy Towns Award is Beechworth, Victoria. Congratulations, Beechworth. Well, well done to Beechworth. And thanks to all at the Keeping Australia Beautiful Association for organising this virtual award ceremony. It's now back to David Carter, the chair of Keep Australia Beautiful, who'll tell us why Beechworth was successful in 2020. Enjoy the ceremony. Go Beechworth. to get your trophy out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Beechworth, with a population of 4,566, won three of the nine categories and scored highly in the remaining six categories, can become the deserving recipient of this year's Keep Australia Beautiful Overall Australian Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns Award. The Beechworth Tidy Towns Committee demonstrate their dedication in the community and sustainability is a priority all year round, every year. Beechworth has become an outstanding example of community demonstrating consultation and collaboration to implement and succeed with their undertakings. Well done, Beechworth. Thank you everyone for joining us to celebrate the 2020 Sustainable Community Tidy Towns Awards. I'd like to congratulate all of this year's finalists and winners, in particular our 2020 overall winner, Beechworth. Thank you also to our corporate sponsors, Coopers and Tellus Holdings. Don't forget to tag and share any photos you've taken. The media releases and photographs are now available at sustainablecommunities.com.au. And on behalf of the team at Keep Australia Beautiful, once again, thank you for watching and we hope you will see everyone in Beechworth for the 2021 awards. Thank you. <laughs>